Hey everybody, this is Carrie Lee Signan from the Northampton Center for Couples Therapy and I'm streaming in spontaneously today to just share where I'm at, where we're at, and talk with you about a topic I'm feeling really passionate about right now, which is the topic of help. Um, and I just want to say this all started a couple of weeks ago on the other side of things being locked down in Massachusetts. And I hit a really intense point, I think a lot of people probably did, of a combination of shock, despair, hopelessness, real terror and fear. And um, the first week was just like a wild roller coaster ride. Like, what is the nor new normal going to be? I, I felt like I was free falling. Um, would wake up in the middle of the night um, and just feel like I could hear you know, the whole world through my walls uh, crying. So it's been quite a process to settle into where I'm at now. And I wanted to just talk with people about um, how I've gotten here and what's helped me and what we're doing at the Northampton Center for Couples Therapy to help you as well. Um, and I want to say that it all started uh, when I actually found myself on the receiving end of um, the helpers in the world, like Mr. Rogers talks about, um, our Senator Joe Comerford, for those of you who don't know, has been hosting weekly town halls on Wednesday AM that anybody can stream into. And um, hearing her voice um, about a week ago was just like, um, it was like finding a, a beacon in a storm um, and something to latch on to. And the ripple effect from that in terms of connecting with different parts of our community to help support our center, which in turn allows us to help support you, um, was huge. And I came out of last week just feeling real immense gratitude uh, for all the good work that so many people are doing and a real calling um, to pass that on. Um, and so the first thing I just want to say is if you find yourself in a place where you also are navigating um, the shock of this, some of the, um, you know, crisis of this, if you are feeling overwhelmed, one of the things um, I think that can be really helpful to do is to just pause and ask yourself the question, where can I help? It may feel counterintuitive, maybe it doesn't, but I think um, the more generosity that we can be bringing um, to each other right now, uh, the more that's just going to flow back and forth. Um, some of the ways I am really excited about that we are looking to help in the coming weeks include the following. Um, we have created a Facebook group for um, COVID-19 frontline families. If you uh, just type in COVID-19 frontline families, you'll find us. Um, and I am particularly concerned about the impact that this is having, COVID-19 is having on the family members of first responders. There's been a lot of talk about supporting the first responders as there should be, of course, but there's also a lot of um, spouses, um, children, uh, siblings, parents who are navigating having their loved ones away and that is really affecting family dynamics in ways that are unique and challenging in terms of all sorts of stuff. Uh, so we are going to be offering um, a free webinar coming up for frontline families to support um, you and your relationships and taking care of your heart. Another um, topic that I'm really passionate about that I also think is not being um, maybe tended to as much as it needs to be is supporting divorced and separated families and co-parents. Um, as co-parents, couples are navigating really different and unique hard challenges in this because there's no way most of the time to just lock your family down entirely. Um, children are having to go back and forth often between two different homes, which means we're talking about more than one pod. Um, and there's less control 
uh, which can trigger all sorts of fear and anxiety in us. And it can also amplify the tensions that led us to separate from our spouses. And underneath that, I think it's really poking at grief. So we are also going to be offering um, some free online services for families that are navigating divorce or separation, co-parenting, that kind of thing. And then the last shout I want to give out is for single parents. Um, I was on the fence about this because, you know, we're a center for couples therapy, but my passion and mission in helping is, is helping families. And I believe firmly that there are so many kinds of families and single parent families are so often underrepresented. You know, Stan Tatkin says that the smallest unit of society is a couple, but I would actually argue that the smallest unit of society is a single parent and in particular only children. Um, and as single parents, there's going to be um, a level of loneliness uh, that is already, um, you know, something that is felt in a culture that highly prioritizes coupling and being partnered, and it's going to be amplified um, because the resources that we have to draw on as single parents um, aren't as big. Um, having someone who can pick up the groceries, having and provide income while another person is homeschooling their children. Single parents are actually having to do it all. So we're going to be looking at offering support to you as well. Um, and I want to um, encourage everybody to be thinking about how they can offer support also. I wholeheartedly believe that this will come back to us karmically um, as we get through this and um, use this crisis as an opportunity to grow. So those are my thoughts for today. Um, as always, uh, thank you for listening. Take good care of your hearts and um, more soon.